Hey guys, Debbie here. So I wanted to give you a little tutorial on my new steel made grill top. This is pure steel, weighs like 30 to 40 pounds. Absolutely amazing. I have a gas stove, so it's just lying right on top of my gas grates. They do make them for electric stoves as well. On that one, they actually have like little legs that you put on it so it doesn't ruin your stove top. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to set all four burners on. You do kind of have to play around to see what is going to work best for your grill top. Um, they say like low to medium. So how I measured mine, my top right one, I have it all the way to low, but it actually is on medium. My low on that front right one for, for whatever reason is medium. So I have that, I follow that one all the way on low and then I kind of match the other three. Next, what I'm gonna do, I happen to use, because I love avocado oil, and avocado oil is great for high heat. You fill up, which the squirt bottle, I bought the whole set and it came with it. Be careful, don't burn yourself. And I'm going to just squirt some avocado oil on top. You can see it was not a lot at all. I made the mistake the first time I did it, I put way too much on. And then I just kind of brush it on. I happen to like using a brush, but the way it was taught was to use like one of these and like ah. scrape it around. But if you hear Sal in the background, that's why I don't do it because they're kind of noisy. Yeah. So I'm just gonna I don't like spread that. that on very, very lightly. And hi, I'm gonna be help cooking. And you wait about 10 to 15 minutes for it to heat up. I'll be back. Okay, so we are back again and it's heated up. My first time making vegetables on it, so I have some asparagus that I'm just going to throw on the grill. Now what you'll find is, if you can see, the left side of my grill top is a bit darker than anywhere else. And that happens to be my hot spot. Each stove is going to have a different hot spot to it. So you kind of, it is a little bit of a learning curve to see where to put certain foods. So in the middle, it doesn't really get quite as hot because there's no burners and there's no direct heat under it. So that's a great spot just for warming things. And again, you learn as you go. I also have some cut up peppers that I'm gonna throw on here. Those look yummy. Don't they look delicious? Yes. Do you want some raw? Want me to keep some raw out? Yeah. This one Eva fun. likes some raw peppers, so we're going to give her some raw. Yes, I agree. And what I'm going to do is just kind of mix these around. I'm going to let them sit for a while. And I will come back. So they are still grilling up. And I just want to show you that I'm just tossing them every once in a while. The asparagus I'm just trying to leave flat the best I can. And I did decide to take what I showed you earlier, my squirt of avocado oil, and I gently, just very little, I covered the top of the vegetables and mixed it in. Just to kind of give it some flavor and help it cook a bit faster. It is smelling amazing. Okay, we are back. I just moved my peppers to the middle of the pan because they, the middle of the pan doesn't cook quite as quickly and uh, there's not much more left to cook on the peppers. And I moved my asparagus to the right because this is the hot part of my plate and I want to cook some meat. So we have okay. two types of sausages. Eva likes the sausage that comes in a ring and Sal likes the big thick sausages. So I'm going to actually put those in the back because that is my real big hot spot. I need a knife just to cut these apart. So these are thick so they would take longer to cook so I'm going to put them all the way in the back where I personally know that my hot spot is there. So it may be a little bit different on yours. Generally it's, um, you know, it's about even the way things cook. 
So there we go, and I'm just gonna let that sit for a while, and in a couple of minutes, we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna keep tossing around my veggies. I cannot wait for the peppers. They look so good, and I'm very excited to try the asparagus slices as well. So we'll be back. Okay, here you go. This is what it's looking like now. They were on, I don't know, maybe about four or five minutes, and I flipped them already. Still letting those peppers heat up and still grilling those yummy asparagus. I think what I'm gonna do now is sprinkle some seasoning on the asparagus and peppers. Looking really good. Okay, so here we are again. You can see the thin sausage is cooked really good. It um, looks like it's almost cooked all the way through. I already took out the asparagus. I'm about ready to take off the peppers. And I put the big, thick, round sausages underneath a pan just to kind of heat it up a little bit quicker. I was noticing, you know, the inside is still raw, a little bit raw. So I decided to cover it with a pan to kind of trap the heat in and see if I can make it heat up a little bit quicker. So this way, both sausages are done at the same time. Next time, I probably would think that through and put on the thicker sausage first, and then put on the veggies and the thin sausage. So, you know, a little bit of a learning curve, but so far, so good. Um, all right, so we are all done. And the way you clean it, you just take a tool like this, which again, I had bought the set, so it came with it, and you can kind of, on this side where I did the sausage, you see how it's a little stuck on, not terribly. I'm gonna just kind of scrape that off, and kind of by, by the end of the video, but there's holes right down here, so I'm gonna let the oil drip down there. The extra pieces I have, instead of clogging it up, I'm just gonna kind of move it over. So now here is the trick, because it's a little stuck on. I really kind of have to scrape that off. So to help out, in the set I got, you get two squirt bottles. You put warm water in here, although I don't necessarily think it has to be warm, because it's gonna get warm as soon as it goes on the pan. So now, look, I don't know if you could tell, it's so much easier to scrape off. So again, I'm just gonna slide it down. And I'm actually gonna time it to see how long it takes me to clean. Um, Cause it really, you know, they on the website it says, you know, two minutes to clean. And I really have to say, I think that's about all it takes. Uh, yeah, I've done bacon on here and that kind of sticks on as well. And it's really super, once you squirt that water on, it scrapes off really easy. Now, if you notice, there's black all over my pan. When you get it, it's a nice silver steel color. What they call this black is seasoning. So at, the more you cook, and they actually recommend you cook bacon first to help season it. The more you season it, the, it'll become more of a nonstick type of surface without using the bad Teflon and all those bad chemicals that you don't want in your food. So you actually want it to look like this. So I'm really excited to see that the more I use it, mine is getting darker and darker. So again, I have a few more spots. So I'm gonna just water that down and just scrape off and bring it down. And that's, that's really it, once you're done, you can lightly wipe it with a paper towel to get off any excess stuff that you may see. And that is it, fellas, and ladies and fellas, I should say. So if you are interested in getting this, DM me. I'll actually try to put this on the video as well. I have a referral code, which will get you 10% off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.